You guys, seriously, I just did 12 minutes of Instagram live and um, my friend Amanda, so Amanda, if you come back on here, let me know if you can hear me. One, one person that I saw, I wasn't, I don't typically, when I do lives, I don't typically read the comments and respond. So Carly, if you guys can let me know, can you hear me? Because I just realized, I read what Amanda said and she said she couldn't hear me and I went to go check it and there's no sound. Were you guys able to hear me just a few minutes ago? So can you hear me now? But Carly, my question for you is, could you hear me before? Um, and hi, the general rebel. Could you hear me when I had the, the video up before? Um, because I don't know what happened, um, but I'm glad that you can hear me. Okay, so I will delete that other video and I will get closer to the point here. So that's good for you guys. Um, I decided to shoot this video uh, earlier today because I had this experience that was really positive for me. Pretty simple, but I realized it's gonna make a really good point because one of the number one things that I hear from people now, this is typically in respect to folks and their fitness journey, but I'm also gonna show you how it applies as well um, to business. And, and here's this. How many of you have, have said this or you've heard somebody say it? I just can't get motivated to work out. I wanna get fit, I wanna lose weight. I've got 25, 50, 75, 10, five pounds to lose. I just can't seem to get motivated. How many of you have heard someone say that, right? And we're also, all of us are familiar with that adage that a body in rest will stay at rest, right? A body in motion tends to, to you know, it's, it's the laws of inertia. It's very true when applied to us working on a goal and getting somewhere, okay? But not enough people, whether it's in the fitness space, pursuing a fitness goal, or if it's in other areas of life, personal, um, career, so on and so forth, and I'll give you some examples there. Not enough people give themselves credit for the fact that they are spending far too much time talking themselves out of why they can't do it and not enough time just starting something. Now, if you're like me, I'm curious. Hey, David, how are you? Raise your hand if you are a perfectionist. If you are a perfectionist like I have been for, well, it's just in my nature to be very perfectionistic. I think everything has to be perfect. It's gotta be the way I envision it to be. And I have certainly applied this um, erroneously to my workouts. I've always thought back in the day when I was overtraining, I thought all my workouts had to be two hours. I kid you not. I thought they had to be two hours. And for me, the thought that something is better than nothing was a joke. So if I had planned to say workout at four o'clock and my day got away from me and I got home at six and I had a commitment, like say a dinner to go to or whatever, I would not have the mindset back then of, okay, I've only got a little bit of time, so what can I do? Let me do some body weight exercises for 20 minutes. I can still get my shower. I can do this, that, or the other. I would be like, well, I can't do anything. And then because I would assume that I couldn't do anything, I wouldn't do anything. And typically that would kind of set me into a bit of a tailspin because I would feel depressed and pissed off that I hadn't met my goals and that it would be another day that I couldn't record that I worked out. And then that would typically kind of evolve into many times me binging or, you know, just eating, making poor choices. I mean, I would unravel because I had created an environment where I wasn't giving myself any successes, even little ones. And so this video, this, this might be a really silly way for me to describe it, but I thought of what I did this morning and I'll share with you, it's pretty simple. I'm, and I realized like, if we can just dose ourselves with a little success, dose ourselves with a little bit of fitness, dose ourselves with a little bit of um, doing things differently and, and creating better results in our business, that little dose, just like your first dose of antibiotics, I'm not a proponent of antibiotics, I'm making a point here. If you, if you go and you have strep throat um, or, or something that requires antibiotics, right? That you, they can't just get better on its own. You go to the doctor and he gives you an antibiotic prescription. Do you get any benefit of the antibiotics by just looking at them? Say this was a bottle of antibiotics. No, you, you take that first dose of antibiotics, that first dose does something. The second dose combines with the first dose and does a little bit more, the third dose and so on and so forth but you gotta take that first pill to start the process. And too many of us, 
myself included, don't realize that you don't, it's not like, you know, thinking in the terms of pills. It's not like you need to take all the pills at once for them to work. One pill adds up with the next pill and so on and so forth. So if we can just think of what we need to do and realize that if we just start dosing ourselves, giving ourselves a little bit of doing the action that needs to be done to get us forward and feeling the feelings that come with doing the action. Trust me when I tell you, there's nothing more that will motivate you than that. And I see so many people in particular when they're talking about losing weight, building muscle, getting into their ideal body shape, whatever, whining about why they can't do it, whining about how they've been working out for so many years. And I've been one of them people. I haven't, I haven't been able to lose it. I've got shitty hormones. I can't do this. I've got kids. I've got a job. I have to, you know, commute to work, blah, 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 blah. Instead of going, okay, you know what? I haven't fit in any workouts all this time. So whatever the heck, I'm just going to try it. I'm going to get up instead of saying, well, I get up every day at six in order for me to work out. How many of you have heard someone like this? Or maybe it's you that said it. You say, I normally get up at six. Well, I, in order for me to work out, I'd have to get up at four. No. Why don't you just say, if you normally get up at six, get up at 545 and do something, body weight exercises for 10 or 15 minutes. Don't make it so insurmountable that you'll talk yourself out of doing anything. Tell yourself, give, I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes. And if you're like me this morning, I wanted to go, it was a beautiful morning in San Antonio. It was not humid, it was breezy, it was like maybe 78 degrees. It was screaming, Kelly, come out for your run. And my program right now that I'm doing, I'm doing the transform app, it allows me to add about 30 to 35 minutes of what they call cardio accelerators. So some high intensity sprints, whatever it is that you wanna do. So I wanted to go and do 30 to 35 minutes of running. And I had these guys coming from sleep number bed to fix the foot warmers on my bed. They called and they said that they were gonna be here in about 45 to 55 minutes. So I knew that I had just a, maybe like a 45 minute window and the perfectionist woman in me started going, you don't have time. If you leave now, by the time you leave, what if you won't get back, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know what? I, I'm talking myself out of doing it again. And I have committed to really giving it my all this 12 weeks and doing this program and not making excuses and getting over all of my bad habits and bad practices that have prevented me from success in the past. So I went on my run and I came back just as the guys got here. And let me just tell you, that dose that I gave myself, that dose of fitness, that dose of I, I'm just gonna do it, I've got time. Instead of, instead of giving in, not doing it, feeling lazy, I got my endorphins going, I got my adrenaline going, I got my energy going, I felt accomplished, I started my day. It fired me up to go into my office and start working. Same thing in my office. I have really been challenging, or I, I've been challenged in that I have not been productive lately. How many of you have issues with productivity? I have found that I am so easily distracted, and furthermore, my biggest weakness, when I know I have to do something and there's a deadline, I will put it off and put it off and put it off and put it off, and I have no idea why. No idea. Um, Amanda, thank you for telling me that we didn't have sound because um, I went to go post it uh, and I was like, where did the sound go? So I'm back and I'm gonna delete that other one. But, you know, back to the dosing thing. If you, if you give in or like for me, if, if I would have given in and not gone, my morning would have been completely different. But I, I realized I was giving the second example. The second example when it comes to productivity and business, you know, again, I'm easily distracted, I procrastinate, and I have been my own worst enemy, and it's really frustrating me because I am so excited about my new businesses and I have a lot to do. And so after I went for my run and I had dosed myself with fitness and I felt so like accomplished and so fired up, I got in there and I'm like, how is it that I can change what I'm doing so that I can get into a different mode of productivity where I am kicking ass instead of having my ass kicked every day when it comes to productivity. And I realized that the one thing that I'm doing poorly is I'm not doing my old practice of chunking my time and scheduling my day. And if you're not familiar, chunking your time really just means that you set a, a 
specific block of, of time, your uh, time window, and you say, hey, from 11 o'clock to 11.45, I'm going to do follow-up phone calls. And then from 11.45 to 12, I'm gonna take a break. And then from 12 o'clock to 12.45, I'm gonna do proposals. From 12.45 to one, I'm gonna take a break and have my lunch. Hopefully a longer lunch than that. I'm just giving you an example. My problem is, is that I, I have been going into my office and I just start reading email and then I flip over to Facebook and then I'll start texting and then I'll call somebody and then I do this and then I start reading news and then I go, oh, I should do this for this client and I just get all over the place. And how many of you have been like that where then you look up at your clock and you're like, two o'clock, I've been working for four hours and what have I gotten done? How many of you have been there? Okay, that's me and I have big goals and I suddenly in my post run, post Kelly dosed herself with some great fitness this morning mode. I'm like, I have to realize that while procrastination is my biggest enemy, procrastination leads to profitability. Excuse me, procrastination doesn't lead to profitability. Procrastination is what I don't want. Profitability, more of it, is what I do want. So I've got to deal with the procrastination side of me in order to get to the profitability um, levels that I want to be with my new businesses. And when I realized that, like that is my key, I had to do the exact same thing, you guys, that I told you, you got to do with your fitness, with your workouts, with your exercising and, and your, excuse me, your diet and your nutrition. You've got to just do that one dose. And for me, I'm like, okay, I've been putting off this, I've been putting off this, I've been putting off this contract, I've been putting off this detail, I've been putting off this rewrite. Sit down and just do it. You think that it's gonna suck, you think it's gonna take longer, just do it. And I did the first thing, and what do you think happened? It didn't take nearly as long, it wasn't that painful, it was easier, and I came out here and I was voxing with my assistant and I'm like, oh my God, that was so much easier. Doing it, doing the action, going for the run and realizing I could fit it in, doing the worst thing, the thing that I've been putting off, the thing I've been procrastinating, I dosed myself. I dosed myself with success. I dosed myself with a, hey, I can do this. When you, when you have that success, when you give yourself that success, and it just takes a little bit, people, you will do so much more because you fire yourself up to go, I, I, I've got this, like, I did that. I can, you know, walk up the stairs instead of taking the elevator. I can, you know, eat vegetables at lunch. I can go outside on, on my coffee break and instead of smoking, I can go for a walk. I, I've got this. You know when you won't get motivated? You know when you won't make bigger steps? When you keep doing the same thing over and over again and allowing yourself to talk yourself out of whatever it is that you need to do. All you need is a little dose. Just keep thinking and telling yourself, if I wanna get fit, I've gotta dose myself. No one's gonna do it for you. I, it gets me obviously very fired up when I hear people going, I wish I could get motivated to work out. How do you get motivated? How do you stay motivated? Guess what? If you wanna be thinner, you're already motivated. If you hate that your pants are too tight around your waist and you've got a roll, you're already motivated. You just need to stop getting out of passive mode and into proactive mode. That's where the dosing comes in. A body at rest is gonna stay at rest. You've gotta recognize that the only person that's gonna get you out of staying at rest is you. And it doesn't take a huge dose. If you wanna get fit, it doesn't mean that you have to go from not working out at all to day two, you know, like if day one you're eating buffalo wings and beer and not working out, it doesn't mean that the next day you go to chicken breast, dry chicken breast, broccoli, water, and that that next day you have to work out for two hours. Do something for 10 minutes, because if you do something for 10 minutes the next day, you're gonna do something for 15 minutes, and you'll do it again the next day, and you'll do it again the next day. And I'll tell you what, you just watch, because the fact that I got shit done today and everything on my list is done, you watch how productive I'm gonna to be tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. I've even had time to come in here and do one Instagram Live and do it wrong with no sound and come back and go, okay, I'm gonna get another one and I'm gonna do it because I made a commitment to myself that I'm doing an Instagram Live every single day, Monday through Friday. That's all there is to it. So you can do it. I sound like a cheerleader right now. <laughs> you know you can do it if you put your mind to it. Oh my God, I just remembered a cheer. I was not a cheerleader, but my brother played sports. And I remember that there was this, I would watch the cheerleaders that were like oogling and, and ooing and eyeing over my brother. 
and they were all that he dated like all the cheerleaders and I remember there was this one cheer I, I almost just said it it was like we know you can do it if you put your muscle if you put some muscle to it so put some action to it and do it do it do it I don't remember it I just embarrassed myself but um, anyway I am so glad I love all of your comments I'm glad that this resonated with you also can I just say <laughs> about that word before I close people stop misusing the word resonate you don't, you know what I, what is one of my biggest pet peeves? I hear people say this all the time. I really resonated with that. That's not, look up the word resonate. This, something resonates with you. You don't resonate. A person doesn't resonate. Now, if I'm wrong, but I've, I've looked it up in the dictionary because when I first heard people misusing it, I'm like, I know that's not what that verb means. You have to look up what the Oh, when I see people saying that, they're like, oh, I love that. You know, you sh what you should be saying is that really resonated with me. But you don't say, I really resonate with what she said. No, use the word right. That's your tip of the day. I got to go, you guys, because I have to, um, again, I've got to go hit the gym. Time to go get some serious lifting done. Um, I've got to drop stuff off at the post office, but it was really good. <laughs> Are you, by the way, I'm going to be back up in Austin, so we have to hang out. Um, Amanda, good to see you too. Ama I almost said Amanda twice. I'm losing my voice. You guys have a good rest of the day. I will delete the other video as soon as I can, the one with no sound, and I will be back here tomorrow. So have a great one. Happy Wednesday. Go kick some ass, and if you haven't dosed yourself today with what you need to for fitness, for business, for whatever, do it and ping me on Facebook or Instagram private message and let me know how you dosed yourself and how it helped you because I guarantee you, just a little dab will do you. <laughs> I'm so glad, Amanda, that this helped you. I'm so glad that helped all of you guys. Starch and Iron, I love you so much. It's been so, I, I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, but it's so good to see you. Everybody follow everybody. I will see you guys later. Talk to you soon.